The Untold Myths of Westeros in House of the Dragon In the vast, sprawling world of George R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire, which has been brought to life by HBO's Game of Thrones and its prequel series House of the Dragon, the legends and myths of Westeros are as crucial as the history itself. While House of the Dragon focuses on the brutal and tragic civil war known as the Dance of the Dragons, there are ancient myths and untold stories woven into the very fabric of the Seven Kingdoms that deepen the narrative. These myths not only add layers of mystery to the series, but also serve as the foundation for the complex, often tragic, events that unfold. In this essay, we'll explore some of the untold myths of Westeros that linger in the background of House of the Dragon, shaping the world and its characters in ways both subtle and profound. The Age of Heroes and the First Men Long before the Targaryens soared above the skies of Westeros on their dragons, before even the Iron Throne existed, there was the Age of Heroes. This era is rich with myth and legend, stories passed down through generations, with their origins lost to the mists of time. The Age of Heroes was a time when the first men, the ancestors of the noble houses of the north, forged packs with the children of the forest and carved out the great houses that would come to dominate Westeros. One of the most famous legends from this period is that of Bran the Builder, the mythical founder of House Stark and the architect of the Wall. According to legend, Bran the Builder not only constructed the Wall to protect the realms of men from the dangers beyond, but he also built Winterfell, the ancestral seat of House Stark. The tales of Bran the Builder are laced with magic, suggesting that he had the aid of giants and the children of the forest, hinting at a deep, forgotten connection between the ancient beings of Westeros and the human inhabitants who would come to rule. Another key figure from the Age of Heroes is Garth Greenhand, the legendary founder of House Gardner, who was said to be the first king of the Reach. Garth was reputed to have a mystical connection to the land, a fertility godlike figure who could make crops flourish and turn barren lands green with a touch. The story of Garth Greenhand has echoes throughout Westerosi culture, with the Reach often referred to as the breadbasket of Westeros, a region known for its fertile lands and abundant harvests. While House of the Dragon doesn't explicitly delve into these myths, the influence of these ancient figures is felt in the values and traditions of the noble houses they founded. The Doom of Valyria, a catastrophe and a curse. The Targaryens are not native to Westeros. They hail from Valyria, a powerful empire known for its dragons and its unparalleled mastery of sorcery. The Doom of Valyria is one of the greatest mysteries of the Game of Thrones universe, a cataclysmic event that destroyed the Valyrian freehold, wiping out nearly all the dragon lords and their dragons in a single day. The Targaryens survived only because they had settled on Dragonstone years before the disaster. The Doom is shrouded in myth and speculation. Some say it was a volcanic eruption. Others believe it was a curse, a result of the Valyrians' hubris in their relentless pursuit of power and their domination over dragons. The exact cause remains unknown, but the consequences were devastating. The destruction of Valyria not only ended the greatest civilization the world had ever seen, but also left a power vacuum that the Targaryens would eventually fill in Westeros. In House of the Dragon, the legacy of Valyria looms large. The Targaryens are deeply proud of their Valyrian heritage, and their dragons are a symbol of that ancient power. However, the memory of the Doom serves as a grim reminder of the dangers of unchecked ambition and the fragility of even the most powerful empires. The myth of Valyria's fall casts a long shadow over the Targaryens, foreshadowing their own eventual downfall. The Prophecy of the Prince That Was Promised among the most intriguing myths in the world of Westeros is the prophecy of the prince that was promised, a messianic figure destined to save the world from darkness. This prophecy is deeply intertwined with the legend of Azor Ahai, a hero from ancient times who wielded a flaming sword called Lightbringer to defeat the forces of darkness. The prophecy of the prince that was promised is a recurring theme in A Song of Ice and Fire and Game of Thrones, but it also has relevance in House of the Dragon. The Targaryens, who have always considered themselves the rightful rulers of Westeros, believe that they are the ones destined to fulfill this prophecy. The idea that their bloodline is connected to this world-saving prophecy adds a layer of tragic irony to their story, as the Dance of the Dragons ultimately leads to the near destruction of their house. In House of the Dragon, this prophecy influences the decisions and motivations of key characters, 
even if it is not always at the forefront of the narrative. The belief in the prince that was promised adds a sense of destiny and fatalism to the Targaryen civil war, as each side believes they are the true heirs to the legacy of Valyria and the prophecy. This myth, like so many others in the world of Westeros, serves as both a guiding light and a dark omen, shaping the actions of those who seek to interpret its meaning. The Mystery of the Faceless Men and the House of Black and White The Faceless Men are one of the most enigmatic groups in the world of Westeros, an ancient order of assassins who worship the many-faced god, a deity of death. Originating from the slave mines of Valyria, the Faceless Men have the ability to change their appearance at will, making them the most feared assassins in the world. The Faceless Men's origins are steeped in mystery, and their connection to the larger myths of Westeros is tantalizing yet obscure. Some believe that the Faceless Men played a role in the Doom of Valyria, acting as instruments of divine retribution against the Valyrians for their sins. Others see them as agents of balance, ensuring that no one person or group becomes too powerful. In House of the Dragon, the influence of the Faceless Men is not directly addressed, but their existence adds an undercurrent of danger and intrigue to the world. The idea that there is a secretive godlike force that can strike down anyone, anywhere, for the right price, adds a layer of uncertainty to the power struggles of Westeros. The myths surrounding the Faceless Men serve as a reminder that even in a world of dragons and kings, there are forces at work that operate beyond the understanding of men. The Last Hero and the Long Night One of the most terrifying and influential myths in Westeros is the tale of the Long Night, an ancient winter that lasted for a generation. During this time, the world was plunged into darkness, and the White Walkers, also known as the Others, emerged from the far north, bringing death and destruction wherever they went. The Long Night is not just a legend of cold and suffering, but of a desperate struggle for survival against seemingly unstoppable forces of evil. Central to this myth is the story of the last hero, a figure who ventured into the frozen wastelands to seek the aid of the children of the forest. According to legend, the last hero faced unimaginable hardships, losing all of his companions to the cold and to the creatures of the night. Yet, he persisted and eventually found the children, who helped him and the first men repel the White Walkers and end the long night. This tale echoes throughout Westerosi culture, serving as a reminder of the cyclical nature of history and the ever-present threat from the North. In House of the Dragon, the story of the Long Night and the Last Hero might not be directly referenced, but its shadow looms large. The idea that an existential threat could arise again, as it did in the past, hangs over the events of the series. The Targaryens, with their dragons, are often seen as the ultimate protectors of Westeros, but the myth of the Long Night suggests that even they may not be enough to fend off a new darkness should it come. The myth of the Long Night also feeds into the prophecy of the prince that was promised, as many believe that this figure is destined to be a reincarnation of the last hero, rising to face the White Walkers in another time of need. This belief adds another layer of tension to the Targaryen dynasty, as the civil war known as the Dance of the Dragons could be seen as a distraction from the real, impending threat, one that is much greater than any struggle for the Iron Throne. The Dragon's Blood and the Curse of Madness The Targaryens are unique in Westeros, not just because of their dragons but because of their distinct bloodline. Valyrian blood, said to be mingled with that of dragons, is believed to grant the Targaryens their affinity with these mythical beasts. However, this bloodline is also associated with a curse, the notorious Targaryen madness. The saying, every time a Targaryen is born, the gods flip a coin, underscores the belief that the Targaryen bloodline is as likely to produce madness as it is greatness. This myth of the Targaryen madness is not just a literary device but a crucial aspect of the family's history and downfall. Throughout House of the Dragon, we see how this belief in the curse of madness influences the perception and treatment of Targaryen rulers. It creates a sense of foreboding, as characters and viewers alike wonder who among the Targaryens might succumb to this hereditary insanity. The myth of Targaryen madness is particularly poignant because it highlights the tragic nature of the family's story. They are a house blessed with the power of dragons, destined to rule, yet cursed by their own blood. This duality is central to the drama of House of the Dragon, where we see characters grappling with their legacy, 
trying to balance their responsibilities as rulers with the ever-present fear that they might fall victim to the same madness that claimed so many of their ancestors. The Lost Targaryen Treasures and the Unseen Power of Dragonstone Dragonstone, the ancient seat of House Targaryen in Westeros, is more than just a castle. It is a place of deep magic and mystery. Built by the Valyrians before the Doom, Dragonstone is rumored to hold many secrets, including hidden caches of wealth, ancient Valyrian artifacts, and possibly even dragon eggs. The island itself is steeped in legend, with its black stone walls said to have been shaped by dragonfire, and its subterranean chambers rumored to house powerful spells and arcane knowledge. The myths surrounding Dragonstone add an additional layer of mystique to the Targaryen family. They are not just rulers, they are the keepers of ancient, possibly dangerous knowledge. The notion that Dragonstone holds lost Targaryen treasures, including items of immense magical power, fuels speculation and intrigue among both the characters in House of the Dragon and the audience. This myth also ties into the broader lore of Westeros, where lost and forgotten artifacts often play crucial roles in the unfolding of great events. These myths suggest that Dragonstone could be a key location in any future conflicts involving magic or the supernatural, particularly if the dragons themselves or other remnants of Valyrian power are called upon in times of crisis. The idea that there might be more to Dragonstone than meets the eye feeds into the overarching theme of hidden power and secret histories that runs throughout the Targaryen saga. The King's Guard, Guardians with a Glorious but Ominous History The King's Guard, the elite group of knights sworn to protect the king, is one of the most respected and feared institutions in Westeros. Established by Aegon the Conqueror when he took the Iron Throne, the King's Guard is shrouded in myth and legend. These knights are bound by sacred oaths, wearing white cloaks to symbolize their purity and commitment, and their tales are filled with acts of valor, sacrifice, and sometimes treachery. The myth of the King's Guard is tied to the concept of knighthood and chivalry in Westeros, but it also serves as a commentary on the often brutal reality behind these ideals. The white cloaks of the King's Guard are supposed to represent their incorruptibility, yet history is replete with examples of how they have been forced to make impossible choices between duty and honor. This mythos surrounding the King's Guard adds to the drama of House of the Dragon, where loyalty and betrayal play pivotal roles in the unfolding civil war. The King's Guard, while noble in their intentions, are often placed in positions where they must navigate the treacherous waters of Targaryen politics, a task that can lead to tragic outcomes. The mythic status of the King's Guard serves as a backdrop to the personal and political conflicts of House of the Dragon, reminding viewers that even the most honored institutions can be corrupted by the pursuit of power. The Living Myths of Westeros In the world of House of the Dragon, myths are not just stories. They are living entities that shape the actions, beliefs, and destinies of the characters. These ancient tales and legends are woven into the very fabric of Westeros, influencing everything from the rise and fall of great houses to the motivations behind the bloodiest of wars. The untold myths of Westeros offer a deeper understanding of the world that George R. R. Martin has created. They provide context and meaning to the events of House of the Dragon, enriching the narrative and giving viewers a glimpse into the complex interplay between history, legend, and destiny. As we watch the Targaryens and other characters navigate the treacherous landscape of power and politics, it is essential to remember that they are not just fighting for a throne, but are also grappling with the weight of their own myths and the legacies those myths impose upon them. In the end, these myths remind us that the world of Westeros is one where the past is never truly past, where history and legend are intertwined, and where the actions of today are often dictated by the stories of yesterday. As House of the Dragon continues to unfold, the untold myths of Westeros will continue to play a crucial role, providing both the backdrop and the driving force behind the epic saga of power, betrayal, and survival. Thank you for joining us on this journey through legend and lore. Subscribe for more mythical tales and epic legends.